everyone, I'm Gabby Steinman. And I'm Kelsey Perry, and welcome back to this week's Rundown. Last week was a short but very exciting week for Loyola. Both of our soccer teams traveled south for the state championship, and each team made Loyola very proud. Here are Mary Bernard and Andrew Flanagan with a recap. Last Friday, the girls' soccer team won the Division IV state championship. Here's Coach Mark Matlock to talk about their win. Yeah, it was a little frantic at the beginning for sure. They had uh, two very good players that were playing up front that were giving us problems getting in behind. So it just was a matter of organization, you know, getting organized and settling down a little bit defensively and making sure that we weren't going to let those two players run by us. So um, I felt like after the first five minutes, we made some good adjustments defensively and um, neutralized those threats for the majority of the game after that. You know, the third goal went in and it was definitely some relief. Um, gave me a little more confidence that we'd see the game out and then um, really the last 10 minutes, just a lot of reflection on the last seven years and all the players that have come through here and, and been so close. And, you know, we've delivered that message this week to win one for everybody that's been to these finals and not been able to do it. And, um, you know, so I, I kind of thought through all those games that last 10 minutes and then, um, you know, just a little relief and celebration at the end. So very happy. It feels good to finally think, all right, we did the right thing and we got the result. I think in the second half, once we had finally calmed down, got our rhythm, got a couple goals in, and we knew we just had to defend and work hard to make sure they didn't get a goal past us. And once that third goal went in, I knew that, that was it. And I was unbelievably happy. It was insane. I can't even believe it. I'm literally so proud of us. We did this for our program, for our school, for Louisiana. Northwest Louisiana, we're just literally so happy. I cannot believe it. Like. I wouldn't want to go out with any other team. This is just incredible. I still am in shock. <laughs> I'm just so nervous. Like I keep looking back at the clock, just hoping it just go down to zero. And it just felt like it took forever. But when the whistle blew, it was just awesome. And all my teammates yelled at me. We've worked so hard all four years. And going to stay and losing our sophomore year, I think this is just a big deal that our last year we could finally win. Um, we are absolutely <laughs> so excited. I could not be more proud of these girls. They mean everything to me. We really put in a full 80 minutes and we got that win and we are so excited and feel so good to represent Loyola and bring it home. I think whenever Callie scored her third goal, we were all like, or the third goal, we were all like, okay, it's over, we got this. And that's whenever like, I just feel the field start smiling to myself, I couldn't stop laughing. There's nothing so, better than win a state championship. So good, yeah. Your senior year, it we're so excited. Great. Congratulations on a great season. This has been Mary Catherine Bernard. The Flyers boys soccer team traveled down to Lafayette for the Division III state championship game against University High last Wednesday night. The Flyers went down 1-0 with six minutes left in the first half, but had an impressive rebound by closing out the half with goals from Carson Berry, Andrew Flinnegan, and Josh McCoy to make the score 3-1. University then went up 4-3 later in the second half, but Carson Berry got his second goal of the game to tie things up with seconds left to send the game to overtime. The Flyers ended up losing the game 5-4 and finished their season out with a record of 18-9-4. Thanks guys and a huge congratulations to the girls soccer team for being number one in the state. Some students also went to the literary rally and represented Loyola very well. Paxton Floria gives more details on how the students performed. As we all know, last Saturday was literary rally and many students placed in many different subjects. Here's Ms. Johnson and a few students and how it all went down. Okay, so this past Saturday, we went to Northwestern State University in Natchitoches and competed at Literary Rally. The way Rally works is that we send students in teams of three to compete in subject areas. They take tests and then we get uh, scored and ranked on how well our students perform. The last several years, we have won first place in sweepstakes, which means we've scored better than all the other schools in our division. Uh, we tested over 80 kids in 25 different subject areas. Our drama team went and performed, and we're so excited and can't wait to find out this week how they scored. Last Saturday, I went to Literary Rally for Physics, and the test was extremely hard, but I'm hoping that I did pretty well. But all the people that I talked to that took it also said it was really hard, so I'm hoping that I did better than the rest. Yeah, so I went for English Literature, and... Um, it was pretty easy, when, or not easy, but it was pretty nice taking it. Um, it wasn't a whole lot of literature, more of just like grammar and like analogies. So it's stuff you kind of learn in your freshman year and onwards, but uh, it wasn't so bad. Congrats to all that participated. This is Paxton Floria reporting. Thanks, Paxton. It's also everyone's favorite time of the year, Mardi Gras. 
While many people may love the king cakes in parades, most people don't know the origin of it. Gray Hodges went to see just how many people know about this holiday season. We're right in the middle of Mardi Gras season. Mardi Gras is a celebratory period right before Lent. Let's see what people really know about this holiday. Where was Mardi Gras first celebrated? I think in New Orleans. I think it's somewhere in Alabama. Okay. Alabama. New Orleans. <laughs> New Orleans. Mobile, Alabama. Why do we celebrate Mardi Gras? The foundation of Louisiana. <laughs> you prepare yourself for Lent. You eat all the stuff that you are about to give up for Lent, so yeah. Why is there a baby in the king cake? Oof. I don't know. Why is there a baby in the king cake? Uh, I think it represents baby Jesus. I think it means like prosperity and like luck. Have a safe and fun last weekend at Mardi Gras. This has been Gray Hodges reporting. Thanks, Gray. Here is Callie Madlock with the sport. Basketball season is over, and even though both the boys and girls faced tough losses in the playoffs, the girls had a great season with a record of 21-11 and, and won district. The boys also had a great season with a record of 21-8 and, and won their first district title in 21 years. Congratulations on great season, Flyers. The track team had their first meet yesterday at Benton. Evan Cooper placed third in the discus, and Sarah Seaharoth placed third in the triple jump. The softball team has started their season with games against Doyleen, Weston, and Parkway. Stay tuned for more information about upcoming games. The tennis team played their first match yesterday against Calvary. The girls' bowling team has one more match left in the regular season, and the boys' regular season has finished. They are now waiting on more information about the playoffs. The baseball team won their first game in the district championship series against North Webster yesterday. The boys will play the next two games tonight and tomorrow. Both games will be played at Centenary. Come out and support our baseball boys. Congratulations to all of our amazing athletes. That's all for this week's sports. This has been Callie Matlock reporting. Thanks, Callie. Here is Sage Trevinsky with the news. FCA's annual March Madness basketball tournament is next week. Sign-ups end on Tuesday with games starting on Wednesday. Each team must have five to seven players and the cost is $25 per team. Check the email for more rules and see an FCA executive member to sign up and get more information. Today is the deadline for students interested in a healthcare career to apply for a heck of a summer and MASH programs. Applications can be found online or see Coach Maxey or Ms. Alexander. Applications for the annual Flyer Alumni Association Scholarship available to children or grandchildren of a St. John's, Jesuit, or Loyola College Prep alumni are now available in the link in your email. Applications for the St. Vincent's Alumni Scholarship are also available. The deadlines for both are April 5, 2019. Please contact Patrick Meehan for more information. On Track Test Prep is having a boot camp for the March ACT testers on Saturday, March 2nd, and March 9th at the Holiday Inn Express at 9 a.m. until 2 p.m. Contact Sherry Moss to register. That's all for this week's news. This has been Sage Stravinsky reporting. That's all for this week's rundown. Have a great weekend, Loyola. But before we leave, Eliza Drummond has a video to pay a tribute to the girls' soccer state champions. 